Hey folks, uh, AJ here. We're back at my famous workbench, uh, highlighting another product control system used by Aquaglass back in the day. Aquaglass had this uh, touchpad controller um, that controlled the pump and a blower, variable blower speed system. Okay, it had the five buttons uh, on it, like you see here, and it used uh, two control boxes that were all wired in tandem together. So a very simple way to um, replace this. I'll show you how everything goes together. First of all, the touchpad control panel is just an easy phone plug-in cord system that snaps in like that. Okay, you're going to put some silicone around this guy when you uh, install the new one back into place. Anything that comes off, any excess that comes off, just wipe that off. Get that nice and clean when you're going to put that all back together. Okay, now what happens with these uh, low voltage wires in between the two control boxes so they can communicate with each other is they have this little jumper pin to um, connect the two of them together. All right, so they just connect together just like that. Very, very simple. Okay, the main control box has a plug-in like this, which will go into your ground fault outlet. Okay, and then you pump your, plug your pump into the one. You plug your blower into the other. They have these uh, special J&J &J plugs on the end of them. Okay, let me hold this up to the light so you can see it. Okay, it's not your standard plug-in plugs um, that they use um, on some of these like this. It's not your standard. It's a J&J, &J, okay? the mini J&J &J plugs, which are on the boxes and on the plugs like that. So you got to look for that on your control system. This will replace any of those. Um, see the product description below this video for the part numbers. Any questions beyond this video, give us a call. We are your Aquaglass Whirlpool Parts Authority.